A little bit about me? Okay, well, I guess I'll start with my name. My name is Louise Marie Anderson, and I'm 29 years old. I'm originally from the Midwest, Kansas City, Missouri. Um, I moved to New York, Brooklyn, New York in about 2016, um, like the end of December, to promote my art, go to grad school, and meet new cool people. <laughs> yeah, so I'm a visual artist. I've been painting for, I say, three years now. Um, originally, I went to school for like psychology and criminal justice, so in the future, I plan to combine the two, psychology and art, uh, while working with the juvenile delinquents and adolescents. Well, I don't, well, I feel like art is, is a part of everything. It's a part of everyday life. People are art, you know, um, a, just a painting is not just art. Um, there's art everywhere. You can get on the train and see art. Food is art. So psychology is basically um, the study of the human mind and why people do what they do. And they kind of are. Um, they kind of go hand in hand to me because <laughs> people's behavior um, most of the time is art. So just like us interacting right now is a form of art. So that's kind of how I got into that. And um, I sometimes battle different things and mentally and I use art as a form of therapy. Um, so that's kind of how I got from psychology to art. But I don't really think I, I left psychology. I just brought art in. <laughs> um, I first started painting for myself just for art therapy. And after a while, well, not really a long time, but I started to get into my style of art. And I paint a lot of divine, I would say, individuals mostly for african-american or black whatever you want to call them um the brown people with crowns um like divine royal paintings to touch society actually i want the paintings and i also put the color in there as well as a form of um uplifting I would say I do this for the, the youth, for mostly the youth in a society. So, so when they see these paintings, I want them to be subconsciously programmed to know that they are divine and that they are royalty and that they are valued because they don't get to see it um, on a day-to-day -day basis, like in the media, um, different um, billboards, music, and stuff like that. Most of the time, it's kind of degrading um, the pictures and different things like that. And these, all these things have been studied, you know? So this isn't just stuff that you make up. But um, for the most part, I'm hoping that my art touches um, society, the, the youth in our society, because they are our future leaders and they need our guidance. And I feel like um, a lot of adults are not they don't have that role model um agenda you know it's just kind of like an individualized they're just living their lives and and raising kids now so i i, I would say it's all a form of expression um art music spoken word you know interior design just designing clothes, all these different things. Architect is all a form of expression and feeling. And I will also say it's also a, a form of therapy. Um, the 
these different forms of art that people produce make them feel good inside, you know? It helps them with their day-to-day -day, uh, battles and struggles when they're creating or once they have created a masterpiece um, and they put their you know, hard work, time, and dedication into. But yeah, I would say for the most part, the thing that ties them together is that it's a form of expression. It's a form of uh, way to release what's going on inside of you for other people to view and see. I would say this right here is freedom for me. Um, just me being able to be my natural, organic self without anyone, you know, around or really like bothering me, like take, trying to take me out of my element, just letting me be me while observe, uh, observing from afar, you know? Um, yeah, I would just kind of say that's freedom for me. It's just being in my art. Um, so I feel like um, exploration is definitely um, something that you want to include when you are an artist, any form of artist, because it's a chance to evolve. And I feel like that's kind of the ultimate goal in life is to evolve and become the person that you're meant to be. So when you explore different things, you learn different things, you see, you know, you, what you like, stuff you never dibbled and dabbled in, and it kind of brings out a different side of you, different forms of you. Um, a message, first I would say, follow your dreams, follow your goals, turn your goals into plans and don't hesitate, just do it. It doesn't matter what you have. You could come, if you're an artist, you could come out just with a canvas and paint it, you know? So I would just say, do never hesitate about following your goals and um, and, make, and turning them into plans and making them the, your reality. Never hesitate, just do it and work on it every day. That's what I would say. And I'll also say to never get up because this path can get very discouraging, but only the strong survive. You have to work hard and never give up. So that would, that would be my message for the youth and for anybody that wants to follow their dream and not just, you know, just be here <laughs> living. symbol of um, royalty or being divine. Um, yeah. And it's, I don't even know the size this is, but I just finished it this morning. It took me some time. Sometimes you can't just finish a painting in one day. Sometimes you have to go to sleep and put new eyes on it the next day to see what you want to add or maybe get more inspiration.